Austin was born at 26 weeks. He weighed two pounds, five ounces. So he was at McGee Hospital for 71 days. On Mother's Day, we went to visit Austin in the hospital with his two sisters. Lauren was two and a half and Stephanie was a year and a half. Lauren and Stephanie were just going around the incubator and uh, distracting other babies and alarms were going off and uh, the nurses said, we're gonna try our best to keep them occupied while you visit. So we, we left after 15 minutes. I cried the whole way home because it was Mother's Day and <clears throat> it would have been nice to, um, to just be uh, visiting Austin um, as a family and spending at least 30 minutes with them. After that, I said to Mario, I said, we need to do something about playrooms. And so this is how it all started. In 2000, we decided to um, start Austin's Playroom Project as a direct result of Mario and Natalie's personal experience. And so the first room we decided to do was at McGee because that's where Austin was um, being cared for and his two older sisters didn't have anywhere to go. And then we kept going and going and going and fast forward to today, we have 26 playrooms established. We include common elements as part of the brand of the Austin's Playroom. Our signature item is a sand table. It was Austin Lemieux's very favorite thing, so we put it in all of the playrooms. And the other signature item, of course, is an aquarium. And anytime we can put an aquarium in an Austin's Playroom, it's really one of the favorite items. We also do the reading bunch, because again, thinking about the calming and, and friendly and soothing environment, we just wanted an area that could be fairly quiet. The kiosk was really something that came along recently. Anything that they can direct the play and, and play with a touch screen really it seems to be beneficial. So that's why we've included a kiosk. The Austin's Playroom is just incredible for the siblings and also for the kids that come downstairs and participate. It more normalizes their hospital experience. It feels more like home. I think the playrooms are wonderful because it's a place where children can go, just be kids, have fun, and play. Siblings now have a space where they can come in, where they can feel comfortable, where they can feel welcome. Parents tell us when siblings wake up in the morning, when they're staying on campus or at the hotel, the first thing the siblings want to do is get up and come to the Lemieux Sibling Center. So it gives them something to look forward to. It doesn't make the hospital this scary, overwhelming, threatening place. The playrooms offer support, distraction, and allow children to be children at a time when they may need that the most. We're excited about the new connection uh, with military families. I think that has a potential to grow and really for us to spread our wings nationally a little more. In September of 2011, we opened our first military playroom at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center in Bethesda, Maryland. This was a project two years in the making and a very, very special project for us because it kind of changed our demographics. We moved from oncology units and NICU units to military hospitals, but all with the same goal in mind, giving moms and dads a little bit of peace of mind to do what they need to do while their children are taken care of.